So this is MBW's 36 inch power trowel. We just, this is the first job we're using it on today. Got your throttle right here. These are on and off switch right here. This, this adjusts the level of the handles. It's supposed to be a low vibration handle. That's, that's how they designed this, this piece right here so it doesn't have any vibration when you use it. We've got the five and a half Hus Honda motor on it. This is your gas, gas on, this is your choke. That's your uh, safety off and on switch right here. 36 inch, it's got combo blades on it when you get it. And it, it has a high RPM, so it revs up really fast. We've been finishing this floor with it here today. You can see it's about a 1500 square foot floor, so it keeps up with something like this really easy. And we'll just get it going here and show you how we use it. Hey guys, let me know down in the comments what you're currently using for a power trial now, or if you're in the market to buy one, if you're looking for one, and uh, let me know. Hey guys, Mike here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we power trial this uh, 1,500 square foot garage floor using this brand new MBW power trial. Now MBW had seen some of my videos and they contacted me and wanted to send me this power trial so I could try it out and give you guys my opinion on it and tell you how we liked it or if we didn't like it. So that's what we're doing here today. And I can honestly tell you, you know, after after talking with my guys after finishing this floor, you know, they absolutely love this thing. The fact that it, it had really high RPMs, it was really low vibration. Um, obviously it had the Honda motor, so that was really nice. It was just a really solid built power trial. It worked really good and uh, my guys absolutely loved it. Now, MBW is also an American made company. They've been in business over 50 years, uh, right out in Wisconsin. So they make, they make uh, equipment for the concrete industry, uh, the excavation, they make compactors, they make all kinds of equipment. So I'll have a link down below for them if you want to check them out. I'll also have a link down below uh, if you guys want to check out this power trial here and get, get this power trial after you get done watching this video, you know. My, like I said, my guys loved it. I, I highly recommend it. It was a really good power trial and it, it made this finishing this floor really easy. So as you can see, Luke's, Luke's starting down there by the garage doors where the sun started hitting this thing first. And he's working on his pattern. We, he's going kind of like east to west or north to south, however you want to look at it in this video first. And then the next time he hits the floor, he'll cross that pattern 90 degrees. But typically we always use a, a pattern when we start power trial on the concrete. It just helps level out the floor even more so after you get done screeding it and bolt floating it. So that's the way most professionals do it. So if you're a beginner here, you know, just take a take a look at the pattern we're using. We, we bring it down to the right, we move it to the right, and then we move it back up a little bit and halfway on the other uh, pattern and we we finish it going to the left. So our the way we finish is we, we go right and then our finish pattern is always left. That way we're not creating any more humps and dips in the floor by the power trowel blades. So he's got that sun part just about done. Now he's going to work in his way back into the shade. And, you know, if the shade the shade dries a lot slower than the parts in the sun, especially this time of year. We when we started pouring this morning, it was about 30 degrees out. It got up to about 55 here today, and we did use accelerator in the concrete to help it dry a little bit better. And you can see how easy that that MBW trial is to control. He's I don't recommend this for beginners, but you know, for experienced people, running that thing with one hand like that, holding it with one hand, especially up against the wall, is, is just a piece of cake. It was like driving, uh, almost like driving a Mercedes for a power trial, I guess. Even though I've never really driven a Mercedes, but I've heard they're really nice. So, he's going to work his way out of the shade and then back into the sun. You know, and a lot of times, depending on how a slab's drying like this, you know, you'd be able to shut the power trowel off for a little bit, let it dry up. But because of the mix we used today, we used a 4,000 PSI mix. It had 
hot water in it, about 120 degree water. And we threw some accelerator in it too. You know, the part in the sun is drying really quick. So he's going to just go right back over it. Because it probably took him 15 or 20 minutes, you know, to initially hit this thing. So by the time he's getting back on this first part, it's already been about 20 minutes and it's ready again. Well, this is just how we stay ahead of this thing and not let it get too hard on us. You can see he's adjusting the, the pitch of the blades right there. He's actually turning them down a little bit going that way. So you can, you can adjust the pitch of the blades based on how firm the surface feels to you. You know, if you don't feel like you're working up enough pace to make it look nice and smooth, you can, you can turn the pitch of the blades up a little bit and that'll help you. But you want to try to keep them somewhat flat with just a slight pitch in most cases. You don't want to crank them up too high. You can see he's going back over that part that's been in the sun the whole time. And that part is just about done now after two hits. And now he's going to work his way back and, and feather that stuff into the shade. So make sure you stay tuned to the end, guys. I'm going to show you how we how we pick this thing up off the floor and put it in the truck without even having to lift it by hand. So that's that's pretty cool too. You know, for you guys who pick pick these things up, this is about a 200 pound power trial. So you know, it's it's a lot easier not to have to pick it up by hand and load it into the truck if you have my secret piece of equipment to do that so stay tuned for the end and I'll show you how we do that every day you can see he's kind of feathering that back into the shade staying ahead of it making sure this floor comes out really smooth and really nice this power trial like I said in the beginning had combo blades on it, it comes with combo blades so that's one thing you don't have to worry about as far as using like a pan or float blades in the beginning and having to change that into the finish blades you can just use the combo blades for the complete finish process so like I said you know I'm gonna highly recommend this power trial after using it I'll have a link down in the description you can click on to go to go get it if you want it's got a really good price on it. it's made in the USA So, yeah, I just wanted to give you a close-up on this thing and just show you show you what it looks like close-up, how high the RPMs can rev up on this thing. You know, if you get a high RPM power trial, it just sometimes it makes finishing a lot easier, especially if you're in the sun. Another thing I didn't mention was, see that hook on top up there by the gas can where you can hook onto that thing and lift it? You know, this power trial comes with those a lot of power trials you purchase don't and you get to buy that separate and then you get to put it on yourself so that was another good bonus from this thing that came with the, the lifting hook already on it you can see how nice and smooth that thing runs it just kind of glides over the surface See that concrete's kind of shining out. We call that shining out or burning out. What do you guys call that down in the comments? We we call it burnt out most of the time. So Luke's finishing up now. You can see how kind of dark that surface is getting. That means it's done. going to move the trowel over to the truck and then we're going to show you how we lift this thing up. As you can see we got a cable with a hook there and we have a, a truck mounted crane on this thing. See that? Simple crane and with, it's got a remote with it. Eric over there on the left has the remote. And that's how we, we pick these things up and we drop them down on floors, whether they're in a basement, on a slab, or on a garage like this. That's the best way to do it so you don't have to hurt your back. So I'll have a link for that down in the description too, guys, so you can pick that, pick one of those up and get it mounted on your truck. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.